subscribe and hit the bell icon for more notifications hi friends welcome back to best way to study this is one of the most requested video from you students ma'am please tell us what are the expected questions what is the important weightage chapter wise and subject wise and uh, what will be the difficulty level of the paper so this is most requested video so guys i am also going to tell the same in telugu so don't worry guys ee video anedi chaala chaala mandi request chesaru cheyamani ma'am a questions vastayi exam lo ee topic nunchi enni questions vache chances unnai and gun shot questions enti elanti questions vastayi exam lo ee video cheyin madam please ani chaala mandi request chesaru so final ga nenu chestunnanu anduke ee video last వరకు వాచ్ చేయండి ఓకేనా సో ఎస్ నా లెట్స్ బిగిన్ దిస్ వీడియో వితౌట్ ఎనీ డిలే ఫస్ట్ లెట్ సి వాట్ ఇస్ ద ఎక్స్పెక్టెడ్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఫర్ ఎక్స్పెక్టెడ్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఫ్రమ్ మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ ఓకే సో ఫస్ట్ లెట్ సి వాట్ ఆర్ ద ఎక్స్పెక్టెడ్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఫర్ మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ ఓకే గైస్ రిమెంబర్ వన్ థింగ్ ఐ ఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు టెల్ ద సేమ్ ఇన్ తెలుగు ఆల్సో టు సో డోంట్ వరీ తెలుగు స్టూడెంట్స్ ఓకే so guys first uh, listen to me carefully let's first see what is the weightage of mathematics for first year and second intermediate okay so from first year 40% of the questions will be asked okay from for intermediate first year syllabus in mcet exam paper you are going to get 40% of the questions okay so from the second year from second year of intermediate syllabus you are going to get 40% of the questions so totally 40% of the weightage from intermediate first year mathematics syllabus and 40% of the and by pc students don't go away because in this video i am also going to cover the uh, the subjects of biology physics and chemistry also so don't worry okay so um, from from second year intermediate weightage you going to get 40% of the questions okay so totally 80% of the questions then what about rest 20% of the questions 20% of the questions will be in the examiner hand okay they can put the 20% of the questions from either first year's topics or second year's topics it's absolutely their choice so guys i'm not going to tell the same in hello learners i have got an exciting news for you an academy has started mst cet recently in order to help you for your preparation and you have the chance to win up to 100% scholarship scholarship test for mht cet exam aspirants is going to start from march 29th 10 am onwards and here are few exciting features for you first feature is full length test you there will be tests every sunday starting from april in order to help you in your preparation there will also be live and recorded classes crash courses etc apart from this you will also have other benefits like regular special classes tips and strategies in order to crack this exam from top educator there is also an early bird discount until 31st march 2022 you can also get an additional 10% discount by using my code radha10 my code is also there in the description box below please go check out my description box తెలుగు స్టూడెంట్స్ ఎంపీసీ స్టూడెంట్స్ కేర్ఫుల్ గా వినండి బైపీసీ స్టూడెంట్స్ మరీ అవన అవసరం లేదు బికాస్ మీకు ఇదే వీడియోలో నేను బయాలజీ కెమిస్ట్రీ ఫిజిక్స్ కూడా కవర్ చేస్తాను సో వాచ్ చేయండి వీడియోని సో గైస్ మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ స్టూడెంట్స్ లిజన్ కేర్ఫుల్లీ 
मन की इंटर फस्ट इयर सिलबस ली एम से क्वेश्चन पेपर लार्टी पर्सेंट आफ द क्वेश्चन वस्ताई इंटर सैकंड सैकंड इयर इंटर्मीडिय सैकंड इयर सिलबस फारटी पर्सेंट आफ द क्वेश्चन कवर अवता है अंड ई रे कल इंटर फस्ट इंटर्मीडिय फस्ट इयर फारटी पर्सेंट वेटेज इंटर इंटर्मीडिय सैकंड इयर फारटी पर्सेंट वेटेज कदा ये कल ए पर्सेंट आई मैडम मिगली ट्वेंटी पर्सेंट अभी डाउट रोच कदा यही ले ट्वेंटी पर्सेंट अने पेपर से सैटे वाल इष्ट आ ट्वेंटी पर्सेंट आफ द क्वेश्चन वालू वाल फस्ट इयर ना अड़को सैकंड इयर ना अड़को का अवट आफ सिलबस रहा सो एम टेन पड़ना अवसर लेकेना सो इन मन वे सो इन मैं वो डिफिकल्टी लैवल आफ द एग्जाम पेपर चुदा सो गई नाव लि वाट इज द डिफिकल्टी लैवल आफ द एग्जाम पेपर ओके सो गई कमिंग टू द मैथमेटिक्स ओके सो कमिंग टू द मैथमेटिक्स फिफ्टी वन क्वेश्चन ओके अवट आफ ए फिफ्टी वन क्वेश्चन यू विल बी हाविंग ईजी क्वेश्चन ओके अवट आफ द एंटर एंस पेपर Coming to mathematics, there will be eighty questions, and out of eighty questions, good news for you people is fifty to fifty one questions will be easy. Okay, they will be very easy, and eighteen questions will be average level, like the moderate difficult. You if if you work hard, you will be able to solve them, and eight questions will be very hard. Okay, so don't worry, eight questions also. If you give a bit more extra time, you will be able to solve. And guys, coming to mathematics, you should be really, really good with the formula. Don't forget that. So, my Telugu students, uh, M set, M set paper lo manaki eighty questions are due. That kada maths nunchi. At eighty questions lo fifty one. Ante yabe yoke questions chala chala easy questions are due. Taru padden mil question le mo moderate level. Ante ekko sulbanga onda bo, ekko customa onda bo. Alandi questions are due. Taru padden mili. And mili na eni mila chesi kuncha custom question custom ani questions are due. Taru. Ivi koda meko formula telisi kuncha ekko time keta iste. मेरे तब पकड़ रहा है ये difficult questions आने को डरा सॉल्व चाहिए चु। तो guys now let's see from which topics difficult questions will come, easy questions will come and moderate level questions will come. Okay, from calculus, okay from calculus, guys remember one thing this is the common video for both TS MZ and AP MZ. So also do check your syllabus. Okay, so I'm not making this video separately for either AP or uh, TS. It is for both, so make sure you even check with your updated syllabus. Okay, so yes, coming to the calculus, guys, coming to the calculus, eleven easy questions will be asked. Four average questions, like you know, a moderate level questions will be asked, and four difficult questions will be asked. Okay, so totally nineteen one nine questions will be asked from the calculus. Okay, so coming to the trigonometry. Nine easy questions will be asked. Three average questions will be asked. One difficult question will be asked. Coming to the algebra, so uh, coming to the trigonometry, totally you are going to have thirteen questions in your paper. Okay, so coming to the algebra, nine easy questions will be asked. Five average questions will be asked. One difficult questions will be asked. So from algebra, totally you are going to get fifteen questions. Okay. So coming to the probability, three questions will be asked from the probability. Like three easy questions will be asked. Okay, so two average questions will be asked from probability, and two difficult questions will be asked. Okay, so so totally from probability, seven questions are going to appear in your exam paper. Okay, so from a uh, vector algebra. Four easy questions will be asked. One average question will be asked. One difficult question will be asked. So totally, from vector algebra, you're going to get six questions. Okay, in your M set exam. So last but not least, which is having one of the highest weightage in the entire paper, quadrate geometry. So coming through this uh, quadrate geometry, fifteen questions will be asked, which will be very easy. Okay, fifteen easy questions will be asked. Three average questions will be asked. Two difficult questions will be asked. Okay, so so totally from coordinate geometry, twenty questions are going to be appeared in your exam. Okay, so guys, I am going to tell you a tip for the students who wanted to 
get complete marks okay so guys uh, as i already told you coming to the ma mathematics uh, easy questions 51 average difficult level questions 18 and the uh, hard questions 8 right so the students who wanted to get below rank 1000 give the first priority to these difficult eight questions okay guys as i have already told you in mset even one mark will bring a lot of change in your rank that's why always always never ever ignore the difficult level questions because this is only the difference between other students and you okay they will ignore difficult questions but the students who want uh, to get rank below thousand they should never ignore difficult level questions okay then to the physics first year four questions will be asked from laws of motion okay so guys from the laws of motion mostly they like you have to give equal preference uh, for laws of motion because from laws of motion mostly they'll be asking you uh, easy questions only so need not worry but give this high priority because from this particular topic four questions are going to be asked okay and uh, from motion in a straight line two questions will be asked from motion in a plane two questions will be asked from thermal properties of matter two questions from thermodynamics two questions from rest of all the topics from first year only one one question okay so coming to the second year uh, coming to the ray optics two questions wave optics two questions current electricity two questions moving charges and magnetism two questions and uh, semiconductor electronics two questions okay so from second year um, these are the topics where two two questions will be asked from rest all the topics just one question will be asked so now let's see uh, year wise weightage okay so uh, coming to the physics from intermediate first year syllabus out of 40 questions 21 questions will be asked from intermediate first year syllabus okay so and uh, from second year intermediate syllabus 19 questions will be asked okay so now you understood right so intermediate first year syllabus is given more priority compared to the second year syllabus so give a bit more concentration to the first year syllabus okay so yes now let's see so now let's see the chemistry okay so coming to the chemistry from organic uh, organic chemistry eight questions will be asked from from physical chemistry 15 questions will be asked from inorganic chemistry 13 questions will, will be asked from rest all topics four questions will be asked okay so guys uh, coming to the now let's see what kind of questions will be asked from botany as well as uh, zoology okay so guys coming to the botany two questions will be asked in the form of assertion and reasoning they will give you assertion and you have to find out the reason for it okay so next is 10 questions will be asked in the form of match the following in the botany okay so guys concentrate on match the following because in botany especially 10 questions will be asked only for uh, in the form of uh, match the following okay so next to mcqs multiple choice questions so eight questions will be asked in the form of multiple multiple choice questions okay so uh, from assertion and reasoning two kind of questions match the following 10 kind of questions and from multiple choice questions eight form of questions coming to the botany okay so coming to the zoology you have to so coming to the zoology there are two topics which are like utmost prioritized topics first one is human anatomy and physiology 11 questions are expected from human anatomy and physiology and coming to the second important topic genetics from genetics six questions will be asked in the exam okay so yes now let's see what is the uh, So guys now let's see what like you know especially for the students who have target 
below 2000 to get uh, below 2000 rank now it's just for you listen carefully guys of uh, out of 80 80 marks in mathematics if you get 80 on 80 it is the best score so the students who have target as um, you know the rank below 1000 or 500 so your score target should be 80 for mathematics and average like if any students want to get rank below 5,000 or 10,000, you can get marks below 5, okay? So, the students who have target to get rank below 1,000, you have to put mathematics target as 80 and other students can get uh, marks around 55, okay? So, coming to physics, okay? So, students, if, uh, if you get 38 or 37, it's the best score and you're going to get good rank and other students... Uh, it's better if you get above 15 marks in physics okay so coming to the chemistry if uh, like the best target of the topper students should be 38 okay other students you you have to get at least above 20 or 20 uh, 25 or like that okay around 25 okay so now coming to the botany, the topper students, you have to put your target as 38. Other students uh, who have a less target, they can put the uh, their target as 25. Okay. So coming to the zoology, the target should be 38 or 39. It is important to get good marks in zoology. And uh, other students, you can put the target around 35, okay? So, yes, that's it for today. Hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more such wonderful videos. And also, don't forget to like and share this video with all your friends, okay? The more likes, the more videos I'm going to do. So, yes, that's it for today. And, uh, yes, please... Uh, uh, make your preparation a bit seriously because you have very less time for your exam and uh, every moment is precious from today so yes thanks for watching and please subscribe like and share